Hello and welcome everyone. This is an introduction to CCA Security Version 5 technology course for the MVPNs. My name is Peter Kolozny. I will be your instructor in this course and I'd like to quickly introduce myself. I started my career during my studies around 2005 that I was able to quickly progress my career after I graduated and I did that by working at uh, several different roles, several different networking roles uh, for different companies. I was able to get my CCIE in security back in 2009. I have been working as a, a senior technical instructor for one of the largest Cisco training companies. I also run my own networking uh, training company. You can find more information about my person on LinkedIn. Whenever you guys have some questions, feel free and shoot me an email to piotr at ndtrainings.com. And just a couple words about some of the prerequisites to this course, because there are going to be a few. First and foremost, you should be familiar with the tunneling techniques and general concepts that apply to virtual private networks. So this course is going to be all about DMVPNs, which is obviously a tunneling, a VPN technology. So it is going to definitely help if you know the basic concepts related to any type of VPNs, like for example IPsec or maybe even MPLS. And this stuff is going to definitely help you throughout the course. In addition to that, it is going to make perfect sense to be familiar with GRE since, as we will see in one of the sessions, the DMVPN is actually a GRE-based tunneling solution. In addition, you should also know IP routing, IP version 4 and IP version 6 routing, at least at a, I would say, professional level. In one of the modules, we will be talking about some more advanced concepts related to IP routing, so it will definitely help you if you know the, the basics and some more advanced concepts related to the different IGPs and also BGP. And we will now take a look at an overview of this uh, course. There are going to be 12 different modules where in the first session we will take a look at DMVPN from a high level perspective. And we will tell what DMVPN is and we will take a look at different DMVPN components in the data and control plane. In the next session, we will spend some time looking at the different routing options for DMVPNs, and then we will start talking about individual DMVPN phases, and we will also look at the implementation. So we will start with phase one, then we will take a look at the second phase, the other approach of configuring DMVPNs. This is gonna be phase two. We will also take a look at the implementation. And finally, we will talk about the differences between all three phases. We will talk about phase three. We will also have a demonstration for this type of implementation of the MVPN. Okay, and then as we move on, so we will uh, talk about the interoperability between the MVPN and IP version six. I will also have an example for you, we will see how to deploy IP version 6 DMVPN. And finally, we will take a look at the redundancy option for this technology, which is known as a dual hub. And we will also look at configuration. This is going to be an example of dual hub, dual cloud deployment. I hope you guys enjoy the course. Hopefully, you will find it valuable. 